good YouTube, what is good my people man, it's always, it's always good to come out here and you know have a chat with you guys and just go over a few things that you know as traders we struggle with and today I'm just going to be talking about self-improvement, self-development and how that will impact your journey as a trader. And for me personally, ever since I began trading, I've seen that the only way for me to become a better trader is to become a better person. And I had already been on self-development, but now it's self-development with the purpose specifically for trading. And if I manage to improve myself, I understand that I'll also improve myself in the charts. If I manage to make better decisions in my life every single day, I'm going to make better decisions on the charts every single day. And that's the logic and the reason that I've used to decide to go very deep into self-development, especially when it comes to patience and discipline. And I feel like discipline is probably the most important thing and patience is going to tie into that. So just acquiring that discipline, you know, like, Trying to restrict yourself on certain things that you find yourself doing throughout the day. Like for me personally, I see myself like at random going on to Instagram, going on to Snapchat, and sometimes YouTube as well. For no complete for no apparent reason. Like it's literally just a reaction where I see myself and all of a sudden I'm on Instagram, I'm on YouTube. I didn't even think of going on to it, but then it's just a lack of discipline that, you know, that that's showing. It's just a lack of discipline. Because all of those should be conscious decisions. The same way when you get on the charts, you should be making conscious decisions. You should be alert, you should be awake, and you should be present. Because if you're not present, you're going to make a lot of mistakes, or you're going to make impulsive decisions that might pay off in the short term. But I promise you in the long term, is this gonna cause you more unhappiness and more despair? So I urge you, man, develop your habits, try change your behavior if you're struggling with discipline and patience before you begin trading. And if you've already started trading, then start correcting it and start fixing yourself so that you can improve your performance improve your output every single day and at the same time be efficient with the attention and the focus that you can dedicate to the charts because you cannot spend 10 hours completely dedicated and focused to any craft so the more you you work that muscle that discipline that patience muscle the more you'll see yourself spending more time on the charts and you see yourself seeing more opportunities on the charts and you'll be able to let those opportunities go as well because that's part of it man sometimes you just have to let it go and stick to your plan stay consistent and let the rest do what the rest is going to do after some time it will expose to you is it a problem of your psychology or is it a technical problem where maybe your chart work or your chart patterning is not up to scratch but maybe your psychology is actually there because maybe you're actually doing bad technical analysis but when it comes to being able to hold a trade you find yourself being able to hold the trade or to your take profit or to your stop loss so those are just some of the things you know so you might have a technical barrier or a psychological barrier and it's much easier to deal with a technical barrier because all you have to do for a technical barrier is go onto the charts, back test, live test, and day by day hash out the problems. But with the psychology aspect, it's like a muscle, man. Like any other muscle that you go into the gym, you have to work it out every single day. And you can't expect it to perform the way someone who's been trading for 10 years has been trading even though you guys are doing the same thing and i understand like for me it's the same way like i'll be watching people who've been trading for 10 years people who've been trading for one year you're all doing the same thing but then the difference between you guys is the psychology and his psychology is going to be far ahead because 
he's experienced more in the market he's been able to deal with his emotions throughout time and he's been able to correct his mistakes as time has gone on if you give up then the journey is over for you but if you stick with it i promise you every single day getting one percent better 0.5 percent better as long as you're getting better every single day man it will compound and over time you'll see that you are the trader that you think you are and that you probably are but it's just a lack of discipline lack of patience and we get that from self-improvement so self-improvement is very very important improve yourself every single day try to get over your bad habits try to incorporate new good habits and from there i promise you the more days you spend on the charts the more profits you will see cheers